Hello, and welcome to the Gremlin News Network. Today's top stories, censorship, bird flu, meteor rights, and we will discuss the all-important fact-checking fact-checkers. Stay tuned. First up today, we are going to discuss H5N8, avian flu. The avian flu in Russia has been detected in no less than seven humans. This is a warning to all Americans. Do not forget your miracle vaccine. Taking your vaccine to prevent the pandemic that is currently going around is the only way to prevent you from becoming sick from the birds. The birds will transmit their flu to you if you do not take your vaccine. I encourage you, like I had done in our previous segment, you should take your vaccines. These are miracle shots that are proven to cure everything, including the normal flu virus, including every mutated strain of the current pandemic. They will help with absolutely every ailment you have, and I encourage you, take it immediately. While so many Americans are saying they will not take this particular vaccine, we encourage you, you must. If you do not do this, you are a danger to yourself and to the American people. Please, go take your vaccine immediately. In other news today, we are going to discuss censorship. Censorship has become a big problem and topic throughout the United States. Many Americans are claiming they are being censored on various platforms, including YouTube and by Google itself. To this, we say, it is a good thing. You need to be censored. You must be censored. You cannot be going around spreading your lies of truth justice, and in the American way. These are lies, and you must not spread them. Anyone telling truths on these platforms will be banned and presented with warning strikes on your channels. I encourage you, keep your mouth shut. Do not speak the truth. Do not speak to people or about people that may have information that may be true. This information has been checked by fact checkers and has been proven to be false. You must not listen to this. You must not take part in this. If the fact checking fact checkers have not checked the facts, then the facts are not facts and they cannot be facts because the fact checkers have not checked the facts and told you that they were facts. If they have not told you they were facts, then they are not facts even if they are facts. Correct. In other news, Google has now employed a fact check box on its main search result page to help people make informed judgments. People like you and me. We are to go to Google and report anything that we do not feel is true. No matter how true it is proven to be, if we do not feel it is true, we must report it. This goes for all of us. Fact-checking fact-checkers are the only way to check the facts. And we must help the fact-checking fact-checkers or we will not be able to get the true facts. Many organizations, including LGBTQ, have attempted to file class action lawsuits against the various platforms that Google owns. They have stated that the First Amendment is being violated by these businesses and organizations. I am here to tell you, this is a good thing. You should not be allowed to just say whatever you want on these platforms. You should not be able to walk into any business and say anything you want. You should not even be able to say anything you want in your own home. This is against the Constitution. This is completely anti-American. You must only 
Quote, what the government tells you that you may say. This is how we do things. We are not to go around speaking truths. We are not to go around quoting history. We are to only obey. Listen to our government authorities and repeat what they tell us because they have been checked by the fact checkers. The First Amendment does not apply on any private property, not even in your own home. The Second Amendment, as well, does not apply on any public property. Several businesses have stated to me personally that the Second Amendment does not apply on their property, and you may not exercise your rights to defend yourself on these properties. This is a good thing. People should not be going around defending themselves and saying whatever they want to say. This is completely un-American. This is completely unconstitutional. I encourage you, turn everything in that you have that may be dangerous to yourself, especially your pens and paper. Pens and paper are used to write down things that may be historic, write down things that you may consider to be truth, but unless a fact-checking fact-checker has checked the facts of what you are writing, then it is obviously not the truth. Turn in your pens. Turn in your paper. Do it now. I also encourage you, if you have a computer or laptop, turn in the keyboard. You do not need a keyboard to watch YouTube. Turn it in now. Next up, we have a special report. In the field with Greg. Hey y'all, this is Greg here on location at an undisclosed location. Um, I heard from a neighbor the other day that we got some new neighbors down across the way here. And uh, so I started checking back through security cam footage and stuff uh, around the property. And I noticed they went by and one of them little two-seater smart cars yeah so uh my neighbor says that we're getting invaded by uh by snowflakes and i'm like you know what i've heard about them so i started doing a little research and i think i come up with a solution okay first off i got this here posted up to make them feel you know safe and and comfortable you know in the surroundings here and then and then follow me i got something set up down here for him right here i got a got a nice little trap set up i got a uh soy latte one of them smoking devices they're always using i got a iPhone charger, Xbox controller, and some of them face diapers there. Okay, so my so my plan is that I can lure them down into here and see how I'm going to go back here behind this tree with this rope. See how I got this rope all strung out down here? I'll go back here behind this tree here. Well, they'll never suspect me. They'll never suspect me. And then when they reach in there for that stuff, I just reach down and pull this rope, and I snag me a snowflake. All right. Also, I want to mention, you know, the scent. You got to cover up your scent, you know. So I use this. Sprinkle this around. Apparently, from the research I've done, they love this stuff, so... You sprinkle it around, they'll lure them right in. Okay, back to you, Graham. I'll report if I have any success. Thank you, Greg, for that report. Snowflakes. Snowflakes are a group of people that we should all be aware of. They are a very dangerous group of people. You cannot permit them to walk freely through your property. 
If you are allowing snowflakes to walk th freely through your property, you are un-American. You must report snowflakes when you see them immediately. Again, these are a very dangerous group of people. Snowflakes can be identified by man buns, skinny jeans, and carrying soy lattes. Again, if you see snowflakes walking around, report them to the authorities as soon as possible. Do not approach the snowflakes where they may contaminate you. They do contaminate anyone they come near with their thought process and speaking weird, strange words. You may become affected and you may end up drinking a soy latte. I encourage you, report them, but stay clear. Next up, meteors. There have been no less than 10 meteorite sightings in the sky over the past month since the beginning of February. Some have happened even in the same place. Residents throughout the UK observe bright meteor fireball. Meteor fireball over south of Spain on February 16th. Meteor fireball over other parts of Spain was seen February 13th. A bright meteor fireball streaks over Melbourne, Australia. A large meteor fireball reported over the UK and Western Europe. Another meteor fireball streaked over California. Video shows another meteor fireball blazing over the UK near Derbyshire. Another meteor fireball flew across the Kansas sky very recently. An allowed blast recorded on a dash cam as a meteorite exploded in Indonesia. Additionally, an asteroid bigger than the Statue of Liberty is set to fly by Earth on March, sometime in the month of March 2021. I encourage you, do not panic. Do not be concerned. Do not even pay attention to this. Meteorites cannot harm you. Meteorites only fly through the sky and give you a good show. In the event that a meteorite touches down and touches ground at all, you not need to worry. Worrying about such things is only going to make your stress levels go up, and you should not do that. In the event that the meteorite does strike the Earth, you will probably not even notice anyway. Next up, I have a The Ministry of Social Awareness has issued an alert. Repeat, the Ministry of Social Awareness has issued an alert. The Ministry of Social Awareness has deployed its weather modification devices over the affected areas. The affected areas are as follows. Areas with a high tolerance of religion. Areas with a high tolerance of manual labor. Areas with a high tolerance of independence. Areas with a high tolerance of fascism. Areas whose populace contains any of the said tolerances shall now be considered rebel and must immediately report to re-education. Those who fail to report to re-education shall be subject to harsh and swift penalties. Upon entering re-education, those considered rebel must reject a self-reliant lifestyle and must provide assistance in identifying and capturing known and former rebels. Those who do not identify current and former rebels shall be subject to swift and harsh penalty. Those suspected or accused of rebel activity must immediately report to re-education. Those wishing to not be labeled rebel must comply with all lockdown mandates until alert has been withdrawn. Those wishing to not be labeled rebel must cooperate with mass mandate at all times. This includes, but is not limited to, your dwelling, your vehicle, while eating, while sleeping, while bathing. Masks may only be removed in approved departments of the Ministry of Sexual Study. Those suspected or accused of failing to abide by mandates must report to re-education. Those who fail to report to re-education shall be subject to harsh and swift penalty. Only the ministry can clothe you. Only the ministry can feed you. Only the ministry can protect you. See something, say something. We now return you to regular programming.
you have to burn them. No, you, you have to burn them. No, burn them, you mean? Welcome back. As you have just seen, we have all been ordered to report to the re-education facilities. You must now report anyone who is inciting freedom to the re-education facilities. If you do not do this, you yourself will need to check in to a re-education facility where you will then be re-educated and learn to obey the masters of the government, the masters of our nation. We must obey the elites. If we fail to do so, dire consequences could befall us as a nation. I encourage you all, turn in anyone you suspect of being a rebel, anyone you suspect of doing anything that even acts like they are pro-freedom or religion. Do this for your own safety and for the safety of your fellow Americans. If you fail to do this, consequences will be brought against you. Now I encourage you all now, put on your masks, hide in your homes and wait. You never know. They may be coming for us next. Re-education, it is needed for us as a nation or we will never learn the lessons we need to learn to obey, not question, and most certainly not be pro First Amendment. This is a warning to us all. Do this now. Apply your mask, tie it tight. Make sure that it is covering your mouth and nose. If you are still breathing after you have applied this mask, you have not applied it correctly. You must do this now for your own safety and the safety of your children. I encourage you, put on your mask or bad things will happen to us all.